Hi, this is Jason Levine, and in this brief tutorial I'm going to show you how to record a voiceover against picture in Premiere Pro CS6. Now, just like with Adobe Audition CS6, before you begin recording, you need to first choose the device that you're going to be using. So whether that's a USB microphone or an external USB or Firewire device itself, you need to choose that and have it consistent in Premiere Pro. So let's go up to Premiere Pro Preferences audio hardware and under default device here's where you're going to choose the device you're using now in my case I'm using a USB Focusrite Scarlett which has a number of inputs that I actually have a regular condenser microphone plugged into again you can choose whatever device you have available to you whether it's your built-in on your laptop or desktop system or in this case display audio which is actually referring to my Thunderbolt monitor as well you've got a buffer size here basically your buffer size deals with latency Typically, having this around 256 or around 128 is where you want to be. Obviously, the smaller the buffer, the lower the latency. Sometimes, though, that can cause dropouts or issues if the buffer is too low. I believe the default is 512. That's sometimes a little bit high, so you're, you're going to need to play around with this figure to see what works best for your system. But typically, 256 or 128 is right about where you want to be. Also under audio output mapping, you're going to want to make sure that this too is consistent, that you also have the Scarlet or whatever your actual device is selected here. And then you can also can control uh, the, the routing and the monitoring. Again, by default, it's probably going to set all of these things correctly. So you should be good to go. You just want to make sure that your output and your actual hardware device are the same. Click OK. And now we've got some footage that I shot at Sabi Sabi in Africa, and I'm going to do just a little voiceover, a little narration against this. Now to begin, I can come down to my sequence here. I'm going to right-click on this audio track and choose to add tracks. Now this is very important. I'm using a single microphone on a single input, input channel on my device. Now again, if you go under track type, let's go ahead and we're going to add first just one audio track. We've got four different track types in Premiere Pro CS6. Standard allows you to use or mix and match stereo or mono audio together. That's already recorded audio. Now if you just choose standard, it's going to record as stereo. Now the problem in the situation that I'm in is that I'm feeding a single input on my device, which means that I'm going to have to use a stereo input to record. And if I do that, let me just show you what happens here. We're going to add, add this after audio track one. Click OK. I can come up to my audio mixer. Audio 2, and we'll call this one Stereo. Let's go ahead and arm it for recording, or enable it for recording. Click the R. Now I can choose the device, and you see it only allows me to choose the stereo pairs. So what do you think is going to happen? Well, when I start recording, let's go ahead and click the record button, and now click play to begin. You can see that it is only appearing on the left channel, or channel 1. So when it's done, if I scroll down here, all right, Let's go ahead and just make this bigger so you can see. Um, this is exactly what we don't want, where we have audio on one side of the stereo file. That is not at all what we want. That is not the desired effect here. So for us, what we would actually want to choose is mono, because the device that I'm using here, this is just a mono input signal. So once again, let's go back to audio one. Right click and choose add tracks. We're going, to after, after, we're going to add this track after audio track one. And instead of standard, I'm going to choose a mono track type solely just for recording into. Again, a standard track type, you can throw mono and stereo audio in there. They can coexist together. But for recording from a single channel device, so you don't end up with channel on one side of a stereo file, click track type mono, click OK. Once again, I can come over here. We'll call this our mono input, mono voice enable it for recording, go up to our device, and now just choose mic 1 because it's uh, going into mic input number 1, record, play, and here we go. And you can see the majestic rhino looking a little upset as we capture while he's eating. Notice all the flies. There's another one. All right, I didn't say it was a brilliant voiceover, but it's a voiceover nonetheless. And if I just make this a little bit bigger, twirl this down, now you can actually see that we have single channel audio playing back. But notice, of course, it's playing in both channels left and right. And you can see the majestic rhino looking a little upset. All right, and now, of course, we can process this, add effects, we can normalize it, we can do anything else to this audio that we like. And we can also take this mono audio and stick it into our standard track type, which will allow stereo and mono audio to coexist very nicely. 
just like that. So you can see here we've got stereo and mono living on the same track with the standard track type. And that is a very basic tutorial on recording voiceover audio in Premiere Pro CS6.